One critical aspect that separates pros from us everyday players is their ability to remain fearless and avoid panic during stressful situations. And there's perhaps no pro who exhibits this behavior better than FaZe Mongrel. I don't no. think so. The drop in gets the shot off and gets the elimination. Mongrel literally putting on a clinic of why you need to pay attention what to what's going this? on. Everybody Are you kidding me? Just the main reason Mongrel is so fearless is because he absolutely excels at remaining calm under pressure. He rarely panics, no matter the given circumstance, even when faced with some of the most unimaginable, high-stakes situations possible. You can cross that, can I cross, can I cross that? Nice! You're flying him out. Oh my! Nice. But what makes Mongrel so fearless? What is it that prevents him from straight up collapsing due to all the pressure of competitive esports? And most importantly, what did he do to get to the point where panic is no longer an issue? So, something we can't ignore is that throughout his entire career, Mongrel has always embraced tough situations. And I mean always. Even going back to season 3. Yes, from chapter 1 and his very first YouTube video titled, How to Push High Ground. In it, Mongrel's fighting a 1v1 against the final player who has zone advantage and a nice seat on the high ground. Now, most of us would probably just walk into the safe zone and box up, right? Well, Mongrel's built differently, so he decides to challenge both himself and the enemy by pushing for height. What ensues is an iconic build battle, one that helped put Mongrel on the map, and while the fight was close, Mongrel ultimately landed a clutch shot to win it. But even if Mongrel didn't win this fight, I would argue that he still made the right choice by pushing because the experience you gain from these 10 scenarios always helps prepare you for the next. Basically, the skill game from facing tough situations head on is worth way more than winning the game itself. And this is the main reason why Mongrel rarely overreacts during extreme pressure. He's always exposing himself to uncomfortable situations, primarily through W King in Arena, playing loads and loads of tournaments, and by facing multiple opponents in solo squads. And even though he won't win every game, what he ends up gaining is valuable experience. Not necessarily in his mechanics or game sense, but more so experience that'll allow him to stay calm and think more clearly during hectic moments. So how can we prepare for these hectic moments too? Well, for the large majority of us, things like box fights, zone wars, realistic 1v1s, and other creative matchmaking practice modes are where we need to start. Although they don't entirely represent how real games play out, these game modes offer great simulations of what you might encounter during an actual match, and with the recent addition of creative matchmaking, they've become more accessible than ever. This video isn't really about detailing the best maps for routines for creative though. For that, we recommend checking out our Season 4 training routine by clicking right up here. But I mentioned solo squads. Mongrel has been purposely putting himself up against multiple opponents for more than 10 seasons now. That's right, 10. Season 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way into the next chapter and up until now, where he recently set a kill record soloing in Trio Arena. And I mean, this method of training in solo squads can help improve a load of specific skills. It'll improve your building, peaks, positioning, material management, opponent isolation, pick finding, and so on. But most importantly, you're intentionally facing a tough situation which will help reduce your anxiety over the long run. That being said, don't just immediately jump into trio arenas by yourself and expect to rapidly rise the ranks of Mongrel, because the pressure might overwhelm you. After all, you're not Mongrel, who's been training this way since he downloaded the game. What you should do is gradually work toward his level. Baby steps. Again, the perfect place to start for most of us is creative matchmaking. If you're always stressing out during endgames, it's zone wars and you gotta grind. If you find yourself panicking during fights, then it's build battles and box fights that you wanna hit up. Once you're more comfortable in those modes, that's when you can move toward W King in Arena. You can start off slow, perhaps by challenging yourself to take only one fight you typically wouldn't take, though slowly you should work yourself up to taking another hard fight, then another, until the point where you're no longer afraid to W key the entire lobby. The most important thing to note is that dying doesn't matter. Your arena points don't matter either, at least once you hit champs. That stuff is all temporary, but what is increasing is your skill level and your mentality to handle difficult engagements. Essentially, the goal is to build a sense of familiarity, which is absolutely vital to have if you want to get rid of nervous jitters. To back up that point, I'd say the only time we ever really saw Mongrel out of his comfort zone was during the World Cup Finals. The World Cup was Mongrel's first ever in-person event, 
Given his age and circumstances, he wasn't really given the opportunity to play in many LAN events in the past, so he wasn't familiar with things like the massive crowd, noise from spectators, sitting next to players, everyone being on equal ping, and so on. And while he still did incredibly well and finished 13th out of 100 players, I definitely believe Mongrel could have placed in the top 10 or so had he just been a bit more experienced with in-person events. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you think fear is holding you back, first, stop and realize that the fear is ultimately pointless because again, wins and losses don't matter in the grand scheme of things. The experience you gain is what does. Once you can grasp that notion, that's when you should try to face your fears head on. Get to W King and push yourself in as many awkward positions as possible. You want to experience them as often as you can so that when they occur in moments that actually matter, you'll be 100% ready. That's one of the keys to reducing panic in stressful situations, and it's what pros like Mongrel do to become fearless. Now, to look back at another critical reason why Mongrel is so fearless in Fortnite, his self-confidence. Oh, I'm so good! No one does that faster than me. Wallahi, I think. I swear that. <gasps> Are you f joking? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, chat! Woo! Let's go! Mongrel absolutely oozes self confidence in his gameplay probably the most we've seen in any pro. And I mean, how couldn't he? The whole world was calling him a prodigy back before he could even play officially. And then once he could play and started blowing up, all anyone could say about Mongrel is just how absolutely nuts he is at the game. However, when you look back at the older clips and moments before any tournament wins or massive earnings, Mongrel always had that same confidence level. How to play super aggressive, just rush everyone. Never be scared to engage, just Look at these guys in here, they think they're good. Boom, you just got trapped. Now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna edit that boom. Like you're dead. Look at this guy, he thinks he's cool coming up his ramp. Boom. Laser. He's dead. Give me that slurp. Let me pick this up. Oh I'm getting rushed on. Oh! Boom boom. Cone him, boom. Build over. Oh, get sprayed. Not what I want. Build a portal for boom. Blazer, boom, boom, boom. Edit, boom. Dead. And this level of confidence is something we think everyone should strive to achieve. We see so many players doubt what they're capable of at every turn, like feeling bad for not gaining arena points or for not placing in a cash cup, but you can't think that way. As corny as it sounds, you've got to continuously reinforce belief in yourself and your abilities. So even something as simple as telling yourself you're the best after a nice shot can do wonders in shaping your mentality, especially for modes like solos where mental fortitude ends up playing a massive role. This is also where having a good friend or duo partner can help a lot. Mongrel, for instance, would always trade compliments with his teammates like Benji and Mitro. Sure, they joke around from time to time, but when things get serious, it's nothing but positive reinforcement being thrown out, which does make a noticeable difference in their level of confidence. How am I this good at the game? How? How am I this good at the game? Still, it's not just confidence in himself that keeps Mongrel fragging as hard as he does, because as crazy as it sounds, Mongrel also hypes himself up by talking down on his opponents. I'm sure we've all heard him harp on about how his opponents are trash players or whatever, which might seem like he's just bragging or talking smack. I mean, yeah, he kind of is, but usually his in the moment trash talk is intended to psych himself up more than anything. We've been seeing this with Mongrel for quite a while and it's reached a point now where he can take it to the extreme and it comes across as Mongrel just being Mongrel. 220! Oh my god! 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 Oh my
So it's pretty evident that confidence is crucial and just like Mongrel, you need to work on building up your confidence to reiterate. Giving yourself compliments and celebrating success when you experience it is one of the best ways to inspire confidence. So start taking pride in your work and all the training you've put into improving and at the same time, don't feel bad calling the opponents in your lobby trash since it helps inspire confidence in your abilities and should help you on your journey of overcoming fear in Fortnite. So to recap, if you want to overcome fear and panic in Fortnite like Mongrel has, you need to embrace tough situations while also being confident in yourself and your abilities. To do that, first we recommend you train in creative, then W key in games, either solos or against multiple opponents, depending on how spicy you're feeling. And second, try to continuously reinforce confidence in your ability to trust your training, give yourself compliments, celebrate success, and yeah, Talk down on your opponents too. I know it's tough and a long process, but if you can do all of these things while keeping the grind up, trust me, the nervousness you experience in tough situations will eventually fade away and you'll begin to play at a much higher level. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you found any of our insights useful, we'd definitely appreciate a like on the video and make sure to subscribe with the bell on so you don't miss out on future content like it. Also, don't forget to check out our community Discord subreddit and to check out ProGuides.com for more tips and tricks. Hope you had an awesome day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.